So usually what happens is after a car accident, whether it's somebody running a red light, somebody not um, yielding, somebody not stopping for a stop sign, somebody who um, you know T-bones the other car hitting the side of the vehicle, what we do is we first investigate to see if there's a case. So we find out first, does the client have a copy of the police report? Client sends us a police report and that gives us basic information about whether there is a case. Usually on the police report there's an accident diagram that shows where the accident occurred and how it occurred based on the witnesses or based on the drivers. Then what we do is we inquire to find out if the driver who is at fault in the police report has insurance. And by the way, if you are at fault in the police report, that doesn't necessarily mean that you were at fault for the accident. But the police officer has to decide, based on his or her opinion, who was at fault. And then the police officer usually charges the at-fault driver with the accident or causing the accident. So once we know who the police has at least determined is at fault, then we do our own investigation. Sometimes we don't agree with the police department's investigation. Sometimes the police are incorrect. So we do our own in investigation of every accident to determine who is actually at fault. And by the way, when we're investigating the accident, we're also trying to determine if the car that our client is in was defective in some way and that that may have caused uh, additional injuries, what we call enhanced injuries in the accident. Sometimes that may be the seat belt, sometimes that may be the airbag, sometimes the vehicle rolls over due to uh, defective tires or other problems with the car. So those are the other things that we investigate at the beginning.